Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Uh, a very short video this one. So it's um, a brick wall and I'm just going to use um, cardboard and polystyrene. Two materials that are easily available and uh, extreme, well, cost you nothing really. Any kind of packaging uh, will make the cardboard and, uh, well, packaging for polystyrene also. So it won't cost you any money. So I'm using two millimeter thick cardboard, although it's immaterial really, it doesn't really matter what thickness it is. And I've made a square like so. Uh, then with some other pieces of cardboard, I've cut the same size or the outside dimensions of this square uh, so that that will sit on there like that. This one will sit on the back like that and this on the front like so. So it'll make that kind of shape and that one not on there. Okay, so that will be the, the pillar, pedestal, the end bit of the wall. Uh, then with a piece of polystyrene, I've cut whatever that dimension is. I think it's one inch, 25 millimeters. Uh, that will be the inside measurement there. So the bottom is slightly smaller, inch and a quarter, uh, 30 millimetres. And then I've just chamfered off the edge like so. So that will sit like that on there. And then a similar piece on the top, but a bit thinner. And that will make my pillar for the end of the wall like so, when that's all stuck together. Uh, for the wall itself, I've used... Uh, a polystyrene and just cut out the shape of the stones making up the, uh, the stone wall and that will sit on the end of the pillar like that. I'll move that out of the way for a moment and then uh, there's another bit I haven't brought in but it sits on the top as, as the coping stones. Another piece of polystyrene and then that will sit on yet another piece and I've cut away around here so that I can pour my grout into this area to make up the uh, the, the um, cobbled street or cobbled area that the brick wall is standing on. So it'll be like that. Okay. Now all, all I need to do is stick these pieces together. Uh, cardboard to polystyrene is not a problem. Uh, if you've got a hot melt glue gun put the hot melt glue on the cardboard, leave it for maybe five seconds just before it starts to go off and then uh, fix it to the polystyrene. If you do it straight away it'll just burn into the polystyrene and it won't stick. But if you leave it just for a few seconds and, and just sort of dab it and until it looks like a, you know when you cut a pizza and, and all the cheese, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, so that will stick onto there like that. That's not a problem. Uh, with polystyrene to polystyrene, not quite so easy. Uh, but if you squirt the glue gun and squirt the, the glue itself onto another piece of card or whatever, give it that five seconds to cool down and then scrape up the glue and spread it onto the polystyrene and then put it onto the other piece of polystyrene and it will stick. So all you're doing is, is just making the hot melt glue a little cooler um, so that it's not too hot that it will melt into the polystyrene. Uh, so takes a little bit of getting used to but it is possible. Anyway I'll stick all this lot together uh, then I will give it a coat of watered down wall filler the whole thing in wall filler. That will then give me a base for my grout because you can't paint grout onto polystyrene. It doesn't work. But you can put watered down wall filler onto polystyrene and then grout onto that wall filler. And it will adhere. It will stick onto it. Okay, so I'll do that. Come back and we'll go from there. So stuck all my bits of cardboard together and bits of polystyrene together and uh, 
we've got now the uh, pillar and part of the wall there and then that's going to sit like so in there so all I need to do now now that I've got this coating of uh, wall filler I can now put uh, tile grout on it gray tile grout uh, and make it look more um, brick like so I'll go ahead and do that finish it off and um, we'll come back and see what it looks like then so finished off my brick wall um, I, I put a, a layer of tile grout gray tile grout in the uh, recess that I made there and then just marked out a few tiles and took out a few to show uh, wear and tear and then a little bit of dried grout for the rubble uh, around the broken brick wall there and then gave it uh, another coat of grey grout <laughs> and then just dabbed off uh, where necessary with a damp sponge so that that's basically it, it it's a stone or brick wall uh, that could be made as long or high as uh, you, you need what you require uh, but it's just cardboard and tile grout that, that's all I've used. A little bit of polystyrene as well. Okay, so uh, there we are. Just an idea, that's all. Uh, um, so I'll leave it with you. Uh, have a go yourself. Let me know how you get on, as usual. Uh, in the meantime, please subscribe to the channel. There will be different videos of different subjects in model making, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Model making on a budget. Um, I try my best to, to use the in, inexpensive materials or readily available materials that you can uh, find lying around the house for your model making. Okay, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, as always, I wish you the very best of happy modelling. <laughs>